Welcome back to High School Playbook. John, more high school football from what was a major slate of games this Friday night. Yeah, it was. Ledford was out for game a week not too long ago. This time they're taking on a feisty Oak Grove team. Chris Peterson always coming through with the establisher shot right there. First quarter, Oak Grove's Connor Creech drops off the screen to Patrick Stevens. He's going to do the dirty work. A nice play as that sets up a grisly score. Now Ledford's going to respond with a score of their own, and this was a top play nominee Nathan Carr calls his own number and look at this and count the yardage folks 77 yards to the house we're all tied up at seven Ledford's offense piling up the splash plays in this one running back Alex Sanford is off to the races on the handoff 35 yards for the score it's 14-7 Panthers but in the end Oak Grove faithful would drive home safely and happily the Grizzlies battle back for the 36-29 Win. Well, we wrap up at North Davidson where it's homecoming for the Black Knights. North Davidson, though, running all over Ashboro in the second half. Running back Xavier Hayes takes it 10 yards in a flash, and the touchdown makes it 27 0 Black Knights. Ashboro tries to get something going, but watch out. Ballhawk Tanner Jordan picks off Cajuan Logan. So North takes over and continues to rule the ground game. Hayes again, this time 18 yards to pay dirt, 34 on the board for North Davidson. Black Knights are rolling, literally. And Tanner Jordan is a jack of all trades. With his flowing locks, he floats down the field, 38-yard touchdown, and North Davidson takes this one handily, 47-0. Tanner's looking for another player of the year, player of the week thing again. Standout stat, maybe? Yeah, I think he is. Eastern Alamance, 41, Pierce. Person zero. Breedsville with a big win over West Stokes, 57 nothing. A couple of other scores for you. High Point Christian falls short to Metrolina Christian, 31-7. And Montgomery Central also only put up a score against Central Davidson. They continue to look good, 49-7. Reagan with a big win, 57 nothing over Parkland. And then Dudley, Matt, these are big shutouts, 62 nothing over Rockingham County. Lots of lopsided yeah. scores tonight. Well, John, it's time for the most exciting moment of our show. We unveil the top play of the week from week nine. There were so many tough choices. We put three out there earlier this week. I mean, earlier today at 10 o'clock, Lauren, but we went rogue again. This game went late, so this play came very late and it turns out to be our play of the week crunch time in our game of the week northern at page 11 seconds left northern's jack mercer throws the jump ball to terrell timmons who snags it for the game winner what a battle there in greensboro nighthawks played in the final whistle still undefeated with a 48 41 win yeah three. this was really incredible i i'm looking forward to watching it here in slow motion because the, he had to recover mid-air yep. to catch that football and do it with the game on the line clock ticking down I mean it's just extremely impressive once again I think we picked a phenomenal game of the week yep. not to give the props to ourselves but my goodness these players are putting on quite a show for us John. it's the celebration at the end because it means so much for them that's what made that play Terrific. Now, after a busy Friday of high school football, college football is going to be fast and furious Saturday afternoon in the ACC. Three of the four locals in action, Duke and Virginia, kick off at 1230. UNC will look to get back in the win column as they host Miami at 330. NC State visits Boston College for a nightcap, while Wake Forest will watch it all from home as the Deeks are on the bye week.